I'm going to introduce myself for a bit. My name is Gordon, and I'm from technical support team of Solis, uh, Jinglong Solis company. And here today, we are going to give an introduction on the hybrid inverter, try dash 326 kilowatt dash 48 ES 5G. As we can see here, this 326 is the capacity of the inverter for on grid side, and 48 ES. This means the voltage of the battery is 48 volt. And the 5G is a 5G platform of solid technology. And this slide will contain four parts. The first time I will go in, I'm going to introduce some product about this hybrid inverter. And second one, we will do some competitor comparison. And then in the third part, we will go with a standard and options and also in the fourth, we will see the schedule and the certification in the future, when and why, and when and uh, how long it will take, we can get the product. Let's go with the first one. This inverter is actually for residential hybrid inverter. So actually that's I try which watch off for. And you can connect to live to N, this is single live phase and also new, with neutral and connecting with the 220 volt and 230 volt. And this inverter can work with battery. It is a DC couple system. So we will storage from the DC side to make sure there will be lower efficiency loss in the DC converter part. And also, this is an update version of the previous RHI-3-5K-48ES. As we can see here, this is the bottom part of the inverter. We have many connect connectors here, or a quick connector, which is very easy for the installers to do the connection. We have this, this switch, which is going to control the panel side. So the PV panel, you have two strings, we can control the two strings. And also, we have two MPPT, one MPPT, one input, and also we have battery input. This is a quick connector with very high uh, waterproof function and also is very good for, uh, and reliable. Can also have the battery CAN port. So inverter is going to connect, communicate with the lithium battery in CAN protocol. And also we can see DRN port. This is going to work in Australia and also like UK country, which requirements and requires the customer to have the DRN connection. And we have an RS-485 connector, which is going to do the communication with the meter. And also there's a COM port. It is going to connect with the data logger, which so we can do the data logger and uh, transferring data to the portal. And then we can do remote control, remote monitoring. And for AC output side, we have two. One is to the backup, one is to the grid. The backup is going to connect to directly to the load. So actually here, we cannot connect the same line to the grid side or it, the inverter might be damaged. And the AC grid is going to connect to the grid. That's just like the normal on-grid inverter. This is a data sheet of our inverter. So what we can see here is that we have four, we have five capacities. One is 3K, 3.6, 4.6, 5K, and 6K. So many options here. If you have bigger roof, you can do a, with a bigger uh, unit. And also if you have a, a smaller roof, then you can use a smaller capacity. But in the DC ratio, actually we can see that we have very high ratio here. And also, the inverter can not only work in with the lithium battery, we can also work with the lead acid. For this five inverters, we have different two different outputs. So what we can see in the uh, output AC backup side and also in the battery, the charge uh, maximum charge, one is 3K, the other one is five kilowatt. The three and 3.6 kilowatt, the inverter maximum AC output, so if the grid is off, we can support three kilowatts off grid load to power up then and make sure the system will run. And for the 4.6, 5 and 6 kilowatt inverter, we can connect with five kilowatts load and which will work normally even the grid is off. And what is important that inverter, we need it to be intelligent and also quick response when the grid is off. We don't need to and that will make customer just confused. 
uh, what we can see here is less than 20 milliseconds. So actually, when you are using this RHI inverter, when the grid is off, you can never, you, can, you cannot even separate if the grid is off or not, as the light will not flash on, it, it will just work normally. And the rated output current, we have 22 amps. And the harmonic for the voltage is less than 2%. This is the output, some output data too. What we can see here is the rated output, which in the grid side, that's the same as the inverter capacity. So if you have three kilowatt, it will be three, point, uh, three kilowatts. And maximum apparent power will be 1.1 time ratio. And if you are having a six kilowatt inverter, that's normal rated output, six kilowatts. But the maximum is six kVN. So actually, this we need to focus and the THDI harmonic is very low, which is the same as uh, our other inverter models. That's quite friendly to the grid side. And also in this inverter, we can also do the integration with AFCI function, which is just like if there's an arc in the DC side, will give a fault and protect the, the module and also the roof to make sure there will be no fire risk. In this, slide we can see that the inverter has a lot of grid connector standard and also safety uh, emergency standard. It can go through a lot of certificate. We already have many certificates and also if you want to sell it to the other country or if you want to use it in uh, like UK or other Europe country, Australian country and some other Indian or uh, different countries, the inverter can be compatible with the market. And also the DC connector is an MC4 connector, which we always insist in using this connector. And AC connector are all quick, uh, quick connecting plug. And also this inverter, we will have a seven inch LCD colorful screen, which will be so friendly for the customer and also for the installer. If you want to do any configuration, you want to use, uh, check any uh, operating data on the, on the inverter, you just need to press in the button. That's very easy. And also for the communication part, we can go with RS-45 and also optional with the Wi-Fi or GPS, depends on the customer. And the warranty, standard five years, the same as the other uh, on-grid inverter. And for the inverter, actually we also need to give some introduction on the working mode. As what we can see on the left is that there are five work modes. The first one is that self-consumption and second one is time charging and off-grid and battery reserve and EPS mode. These five modes are different. So I'm going to introduce more on each mode. The first one, auto consumption mode, is that this is the highest priority and also hides the load. So if I have a lot of generation, a lot of PV power in the daytime, the power will first go to the load, not only to the grid side, also to the backup load connecting will be powered by the PV power. And if I still have power rest, I will just charge the battery. And still, I got some power rest. Then I will choose if I want to sell to the grid, then I will sell. If you want, don't want to connect to the grid, you don't want to sell, then we can set zero export. And inverter will automatically balance the load and battery requirement, then make sure the generation will equal with them. Secondary, this one is time charging mode. So actually inverter is going to be settable. If you want to give an inverter a uh, command, if you want it to discharge like from 22 to eight, a uh, charge from 22 to eight, okay, as that's the lowest price, we can charge from that time as we don't have much module uh, in the PV side, so we can charge from the grid when the electricity is very, very low. And then discharge when the bill is very high time. So actually this time range can be, can be set by the customer, depends on the requirements. And also in the past, just now I said the inverter, this inverter RH5, RHI-3 to 6K is the op uh, optimization 
also an update version, which is from the IHLIS 3 to 5K. In the past, this one can work in the off-grid mode. In the past, actually, we do not suggest customer to use our inverter IHLIS. But this one is okay to work with this situation, no problem. So if you don't have the uh, utility, you only have the PV, you have battery, you have our inverter, it can work and the system will be always be powered. And also, this is a battery reserve function, which is, means when the inverter, sometimes our customer has a requirement, very special. They want the whole uh, hybrid system installed, but they only want them to uh, battery reserve like uh, uh, I, I need to make sure the inverter will only discharge when, when this range, like I keep a certain amount of the SOC and only use when it's, it is during this refailure. And I will keep, normally they will keep like 50 or 60 or 70, very high rate, uh, rate. So make sure there will be power when the grid is off. As this happens a lot in the uh, South Africa and some other uh, Southeast Asia countries. And this is the EPS mode. This mode, we will need an EPS box. MPS box is something uh, like a new, and later we will give an introduction of that, and which will be more detailed. But here, we will just do the uh, introduction on the EPS mode. As we can see in the graph, we can see backup, we can see grid, and we can see load. That's all marked in red. If the MPS box is connected, if with grid, the situation is with grid, then the backup port will be disabled. If the connection is not with the grid, if the, if the grid is off, then the inverter AC grid port will be disabled. And also the EPS mode, if only uh, like this situation, only when the grid of port without the uh, web output power, so actually backup port is disabled. This is a with grid situation just with just now we said if without the grid, then the backup port will be only be disabled. So actually seeing from this part, we can separate that MPS box is just like a bypass switch. And also, let's go to the meter and uh, some other function. As we have some options and also some functions and different features, like if you are installing the inverter without battery, maybe the battery will, be arri or, uh, will arrive one or two months later, it's okay. The inverter can work just like a normal on-grid inverter. We just need to choose no meter, no battery to make sure the inverter will not give any alarm and not uh, to help the others, to the customer just uh, easy to go with the inverter. As if we don't select these two options, inverter will give some alarm like communication failure or battery failure, com battery communication failure like that. And also we can do some strong meter supported. So if the customer wants to buy the meter by the own, no problem. You can just choose the meter with the ID certificates that's also okay with like Eastern brand, Eastern meter built brands. This one is a suggestion brand, which will have already do the protocol much. So you can just choose in this brand and also they have a lot of different models. This one is that sometimes when we are using the single phase inverter, as what I just said, the Archive inverter is a single phase one. If they want to communicate with the three phase meter, and do the balance. That's also okay. So if supposing we have like uh, the inverter is connecting to the phase A and we have phase B and three, they are consuming power about two kilowatts. Then the inverter would do two kilowatt output to the grid to balance the meter. The calculation in the meter will be zero actually. So there will be no more uh, electricity bill to the customer even the only connecting the inverter to the face, any face of it. And secondly is that we can do with a two meter application. As sometimes when the customer already have their like solid inverter when uh, connecting in the, already installed in the PV system, and then they want to update it into a hybrid inverter. We can also use a hybrid inverter like I try 
dash three K uh, or uh, dash forty eight ES dash five G. It's okay, and we can use the two meet two meters and do communication parallel to the hybrid inverter, and we can control everything here. It will be balance of output power to make sure the system will go very frontally. And this one is that, as just we said, lead acid battery also we can support, and lithium battery also okay. So if you are going to use the inverter with temperature sensor, which can be provided to the monitor, the battery temperature, as this is about the safety part. And insert cable will just do the, to go to the original cam port, which is uh, the same communication with the lithium battery like CAN protocol. But in the lead acid battery part, we can do the temperature sensor sampling, and that will help the system to balance and also to keep the system always safe. And also, this inverter can do remote control, motor bus only. So actually, so if we want to do some like reactive power or active power control remotely, that's okay. We can use the motor bus protocol to do this control. And also we can remote control the battery charge mode to turn on the battery through the motor bus command or if you want to charge the battery as commanded, different time period, and you can define only charge from the PV or only charge from the PV plus the grid. And also, in the, this inverter can support future smart grid application. So if you want to do the, uh, like a smart grid application in the small area, like a small town, using with our hybrid inverter, that's also okay. You can do motor bus protocol communication and then control the inverter. And also you can uh, add a third party controller and the capability test to finish that. And then we can do the controller to the whole system. But this one, is not applicable for normal customers as they do not really need that complicated system. And in this slide, this is a definition which will be some uh, uh, requirement as in some country, some market like Italy, when the grid is off, that they require the backup, uh, like the neutral must be connected to the ground to make sure the safety part. But actually, in the IHI 3 to 6K-48 ES-5G version, this 5G version inverter can do in internal side. We have an additional relay which will do the control. If the grid is off, we will do the connection to the neutral, neutral ground, so it will be safe. But if for the original version, like there's no 5G in the modern name, then if you have the inverter already installed, you want to do this function, okay, we can add an MPS box, which can also achieve the same function. And also, many people will ask what kind of battery we can use. Lead acid, we don't have any brand requirements, but for lithium battery, we have already prepared a lot of brands like Dynis, Pure Drive, Pylon Tech, BYD, LG, Obor, Jawei, Wacom. This Brands also have diff different models. You can just choose in the uh, website or you can just contact with the sales from those company. This can also be done with these batteries. And least acid will be very easy. You just need to choose anyone with a standard voltage 48 volt, but it will be okay. And okay, let's go do the competitor comparison. This here, we can see solids in the first uh, blank, and the others, we don't give the uh, company name, and that's not a very good idea to show that. But we can do the comparison in the below part. As we can see here, the weight, we are 70, 17 kilogram. Comparing with the others, at least we are seven kilowatts lighter than them. So actually, this inverter will be very light. I think only one person is quite enough to install the inverter. And also, the noise emission is very low. So actually, even you install the inverter in, inside the house, it will not bother you anytime, anywhere. So as also, everyone here will do cooling concept with a natural, natural convection. So it will be very good. 
as a natural convection will require the inverter has very very big, very wide uh, heat dissipation uh, space, like in the design of the uh, heat sink. And also, let's go to the display part. The rest of the com uh, competitors, they only have like very small LCD, but here we have seven inch one. It's quite friendly, very easy for the installer and the customer to view, to do the uh, like uh, uh, configuration modification. That's really nice. And also here, this is the uh, input power and also some uh, input parameters. What we can see here, this is a five kilowatt inverter 5G version. That's maximum input power is 88 kilowatts. That's 1.6 in the DC ratio. That's really high. But why do we set this so high? Actually, sometimes when we have five kilowatts AC to the grid side, okay. And then if we have three kilowatts in the, in the PV, PV side, we have more, three kilowatt more, and we can store in the battery. So actually that's no waste at any time. And also the maximum input voltage is 600 volt. As this requires some uh, better components in the inverter part. And also the we have very wide MPPT voltage range. In the startup voltage, I think the company says very good, they do the 85. In the future, we will try to update it too, but actually we are still the best too. And also the maximum short current is 17.2, which is really higher than of the others. So actually, I think our component is much better as we have very high uh, capability with the high current. As this is the output data, what we can see here, that's five kilowatt inverter, rated output five kilowatts, and also apparent power maximum is to 5.5. Comparing to the others, we have 1.1 times in the AC ratio also, 1.6 in the DC, 1.1 in the AC side. So the cost efficient inverter is really good. And also the harmonic, we are very low, 2%, as also we have rated output power in the back, very good. And also maximum apparent power, 6 kVA, very, uh, very, few switching time, like less than 20 milliseconds. Even you are using a PC, the PC will not disconnect when the grid is off, when you are using our solid inverter. This is the uh, efficiency and the function. What we can see here, the efficiency, we might be a, a bit lower than the others, but actually we focus more in the reliability part. We are always using very good component like Infineon IGBT, tap, uh, TDK uh, capacitor, uh, and also NCC capacitor, uh, Panasonic, uh, Panasonic uh, relays. A lot of these things are very good. And we, all, we always focus more in reliability. And if possible, we will just do the optimization in the efficiency part also. And also, our inverter is going to work with UPS mode also, uh, like the others, and lead as a battery. We can also work with it. Connection. If you will have multiple inverter installed at the same site, like three phase, three inverter in different phase, okay, we can do the parallel with the EPM3 5G plus. This version can also do the communication with the inverter to do a lot of control, like you don't want to export to any phase of it. We can do every control to every single inverter. And then we go to the standard and options. Here we can see this. This is a topology of the uh, uh, hybrid system. From the left side, from PV and battery, that's DC part. That's common DC bus solution. So the inverter is a common DC bus inverter. And also to the AC side, we have the backup and grid. The grid side is going to the grid, connecting to the grid. And also backup side will do the communication to the critical load, which can just do this, uh, make sure if the grid is off, we can still have the power on. And also we have a very big meter in the, on, on the right side. This meter is going to measure the grid side, if there's some power feed into the grid or not. If we install this meter and we will know and we will balance the, how much power we should, we should generate. So if we generate five kilowatt, 
three kilowatt to do the load and the rest two kilowatt will going to be charged the battery. This is like a balancing. We need to make sure the meter will be installed and communication is very good. And this is an op optional accessory, like an MPS bo uh, box, which we just mentioned. This MPS box is like a bypass switch. So if any condition happens, like if the back of the side, we got a problem with it, we can do the new uh, uh, MPS box, just switching it to the grid side, and then the uh, inverter backup port will be powered off. And this is the second one. If we want to, uh, the grid port is just off now, and we have some other load connecting to the back uh, grid side, we want to power up. So we can switch to the grid side, and then the grid port, some load can just do con con connecting to the backup side. And this depends on the customer requirement. If normally we do not just suggest to uh, install, uh, to get rid of the bypass uh, things in the system. And this is an optional uh, accessory. Like I just said, if I have multiple inverter installed at the same site in different phases, so if you want to limit every single live phase, there's no power bit in grid, okay, we can do the parallel con connection to the inverter to, to the final, to the EPM plus version. And also we can do the CT sampling in the live phase one, live phase two, and live phase three. And then the EPM will control the inverter to make sure there will be no power feed in the grid. So actually, the, if you have big system, we can also do the parallel connection in the in the commercial or some small uh, uh, some commercial system. And the final part, we will go to the schedule and certification. This is a release date with a certification. April, we will have Italy and UK certificate. And also in May, we will have Netherlands and other Europe countries. And parallel EPM in the middle of the May. So actually, in June, we will have South Africa and Australia. And ASVI function, we just mentioned, that's very useful uh, residential customer, as it will be very safe for the customer to install a PV system. It will uh, be realized in June or July. And also, the inverter will be ready for uh, July uh, on, in July for German, uh, Germany and Belgium, and also in September for France market, November for Spain and in Italy. So actually, this inverter will be very good for any kind of residential hybrid inverter customer requirement. If just a customer need an inverter, we can just give them a very good option. And this is all for this slides for our h 3 to 6 k 48 es 5 g inverter. If any question, we can just show in the uh, Q&A part. Lizzie. Hello, Hello,我在呢。那个讲讲完了,然后你们之前那个后面的QA的部分是怎么处理的?是让他们直接回答还是? 这个你们具体可以对对你们可以具体把握的嗯嗯呃 uh, for battery part uh, selection we have already do communicate with uh, I think Pylon Tech US 3000B and also U US 3000 uh, this series from Pylon Tech and also from BYD B Box this in, uh, battery selection models are already be available. If you just talk with the uh, sales from those companies to kick off, uh, start to kick off. Wow. 
actually the inverter if like we have battery we have grid we have pv the inverter will always keep working even the pv is off in the nighttime the inverter can work from the battery side so actually i think rahul uh, sir i think you need to uh, describe your question more detailed Sir, I think if you can print, if you can write in English, we will be able to answer you as we cannot speak Spanish here. Sorry. Uh, we can do remote control like uh, we can go to the slide. This is slide. Like we can control the active power, reactive power, and the system input active power, reactive power. And also we can control like some, uh, some communicate motor bus communication and gives a command from the motor bus protocol, charge the battery as commanded, or if you want to define the, uh, the battery will be charged from the only from the PV or both with a uh, grid or PV. Actually, there's no limitation for the battery adding. If you want to add more battery, that's okay to work but the system is five kilowatt, maximum six kilowatts. So actually, if we want to charge the battery for that will take longer time. And if the battery can support parallel communication, parallel connection with a lot of quantities, I think that's okay to work with the system. We just are given recommendation value. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Uh, okay, we will. I, I will process your information, your email to our marketing department, and we will show the MPPD with some other version. I think they will show. Lizzy, this text can be sent to customers if there are those errors. 稍后我会处理的。我把那个不能对外发的删掉，然后加完水印之后，再把最终的 PPT 给你们，可以发给他们的。行。Okay, we will show the PPT to you and via the email. Uh, the, sir, I think Chen Tang, uh, the, for the battery recommendation, I suppose that depends on the requirement from the customer. If the grid is very stable, they will all install the inverter with uh, the PV system in their energy storage way. It's okay, we can just give a one or two battery bank, it's okay. If the grid will always be off or sometimes it, it will be off for a certain time, then we recommendation, the recommendation will be a, a little higher. This depends on the load. If you have a lot of load to run and when the grid is off, then you need to calculate how much power will be needed. And then you will the quantity of battery you need. Thank you, sir. So actually, the so actually the the battery is depends on the load. So if you have a lot of a lot of load to run, you need to make sure the battery bank is enough to run that load. Yeah, we will share the pre uh, presentation. Okay, we will show you the uh, supplier contract later. Yeah, we will send it to you. Thank you.
Thank you, everyone. So, is there any other technical info, uh, question about this inverter or or this light PBT? <coughs> Uh, so actually here, zero export, so zero power export to grid. Okay, we can talk about this. Actually, the inverter, we have a standard accessory is a meter, single phase one. We just see that in the slide, maybe, wait a second, I will go to that slide. We can see here, this is a standard slide uh, accessory, one phase meter, arc reel. And we can just sample from the AC side to the grid. If there's a power buying or selling to the grid, we can set here. If you do not want to sell power to the grid, you can set zero export. And the inverter will just balance power from the PV and battery to balance from the, uh, to the load requirements. As if there's a power fit into the grid, then I will limit the power generation from the PV or battery side. So this can just be balanced from the inverter. from the grid side to make sure the inverter will just always control the whole system. It will realize this zero export. Uh, the battery you are using is Marit's, Marit, Maritsan Live P04. This battery is, do you have communication? like Kirkang or i45. If it is can communication, we can do work with it. That's no problem. I think we just need to do the protocol much. And also this depends on the uh, quantity just sometimes we need to do spend a lot of time to do the protocol much. If you can just use the brand, we just give the uh, recommendation in the data sheet in the blank. I think that will be easier for everyone to do that. But if you have additional one, we can just try to do the protocol much and you can just process your battery brand to a salesman, uh, in our salesman, and then you can let, let him know and then we can try to do that. Will the system work? Uh, normally, if you want to control our inverter, hybrid inverter, and also the other inverter, that's, that might be okay if you have a third-party controller. We are open to share our protocol to our customer. There's no problem. You can just use the protocol to do the com uh, communication and also do the control with a third-party one. That's okay to do with that. Yes, so DC is 48 rated voltage and AC 230 or 220, both okay. And DRM facilities for Australian. Actually, we have uh, DM requirement in Australia. So this is only for Australian and also, sorry, also for UK. Both these two countries have their requirement in DRM. The DRM is like a, a control from the grid side. If the grid wants to give a signal to the inverter to stop or uh, to do generation or how much you, you can generate. This uh, is just uh, related to the grid control. You're welcome, sir. Mm. <clears throat> Any other question? Normally, we suggest from 50 amp to amp power to 2,000 amp power. This is the capacity we normally suggested. Next is last one. <clears throat> yes, and also we will have a zero feeding solution, which will be uh, will, uh, that webinar will just be in May 7th. That will be more closely and more detailed in the zero export solution. We have a lot of inverter. All of them can do zero. Still want to have a zero uh, export PV system just to use solids. All the capacity, all the models, we can realize that. In case we see.
uh, the excess power will be limited to very low, just to equal the load. If you just uh, have battery four and also the load is very small, then we will just uh, do tracking very low point, power point, to make sure there will be no power fitting to grid. Yes, we can work with a three-phase meter. Please wait a second, I will go to the slide. This one? I think this is the one. So if we have a three-phase meter installed here, actually the calculation in the meter is like if you balance the three-phase totally, the meter will not be, uh, the, there will be no electricity fee. So if you are under this situation, we can work with this inverter connecting with the three-phase meter and how much power is buying from the other two-phase, we can generate this quantity to balance it, to balance the electricity bill. It's quite efficient, I think. So actually, uh, as the calculation is from the meter side, we just do the tracking in the PV curve. So it's, and also the response time is milliseconds level. Thank you, San Hong. Uh, we are also doing the three-phase hybrid inverter, but it will release in a few, uh, maybe near future, as the inverter uh, is already in the test level. Uh, the clamps is not included in the box. As for the different side, we don't, we are not very sure what kind of CT actually is really needed. needed. So actually the CTs will, the customer needs to buy from the own site. So it will be easier for, for them to choose the correct one. Search power withstand. So actually, you mean in the AC output side in the backup? Normally, that's, uh, we have the data sheet here. I can move to this slide. And you can see this is output. This is six, uh, sorry, that's four KVA in 10 seconds. 10 seconds later, it will disconnect. Yeah, we will show you. We will show you random us and uh, uh, this email address. Yeah, we will record and then show you the PPT. Is there any other questions? Uh, EPS mode is not uh, comparing to inverter power. Yes, actually, uh, the EPS is only the like backup mode. When the backup side is like we have five kilowatt, that's really five kilowatt, and it can do some uh, like. Uh, sorry, this is grid side. This is not that. This one, sorry, this is six kVA or four kVA. Do you have any size in the inverter oh, in capacity? Actually, this inverter is already in the PV assist. You can just use that PV assist and can do the uh, system design. Uh, yes, sir, Neil. I don't. I, I don't think I fall. You said comp one to one ratio comparing to inverter power. Yeah, we'll, we will show you the PPT. Search power up EPS. EPS is four kilowatts, four, four kilowatt actually, four kVA, four kVA, sorry.
Yes, we will show you the presentation in English. Lizzy, 这个后面能把这个所有里面的那个内容能导出来的吗? 什么内容导出? 你说的是客户所有的问题可以的我每次培训的话都给你们导出了客户的问题的那到时候这个导出来一下吧我们到时候把他们邮箱全部都记录下来直接把那个PPT一次性发一下嗯有的可以的 Thank you 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 want to use Sonix battery? Uh, maybe for now the inverter is not working with the Sonix if it is a lithium battery. As the protocol we have already did much is this brands. I'm trying to find the battery. Wait a second. Wait. The battery here are already, or maybe very soon, will, will be available. And if you want to do with the work with the Sonix, you can process the information to our uh, to our sales, and then we will try to do that protocol much. But that will take a certain time, I think. Okay, same also PV system OND file. Okay, we will show you the OND file. Can you leave a email email address? Okay, we, uh, I think we can, we can just show together with the presentation and also OND file, that will be easier. We will show both, we will show both. Any other question? Okay, we will show you. If there's no any no more questions, I think we can uh, end here today. And if you have any question, additional questions, you can just process your question to our salesman, and then we will give a detailed reply to you. Thank you, for, thank you everyone. Thank you very much today.